welcome to the 86th episode of lalita divya rahasya sahasra nama stotra there is a clear hierarchy of energy of the source the the root of this energy source that is ultimate cosmic energy source of universal mother through this hierarchy the energy is manifested in various layers in various forms further the universal mother practices and adheres to the three rules of mother nature that is positive energy is always equal to the negative energy through our power of intent or sankalpa bala if we seek one fruit the mother nature through the universal mother provides us multiple number of the fruits number of fruits and thirdly we are the driver of our sankalpa or power of intent so to that extent the nourishment is being provided by the universal mother and throughout lalita divya rahasya sahasra nama stotra these rules are being applied and followed by the universal mother to administer training to the faculties of intellect discretion personality and mind so let us move on we are at the crossroads of the the chronology of events that happened and the lalita divya rahasya sahasra nama stotra provides the historical um, events that unfolded in the time scale perhaps no other scripture will provide the time scale that has covered by lalita divya rahasya sahasra nama stotra with so much accuracy and precision so the next nama is maheshwara mahakalpa mahatandava sakshini this is one of the significant milestone in lalita divya rahasya sahasra nama stotra or the events chronology of events that are being covered in lalita divya rahasya sahasra nama stotra so essentially maheshwara mahakalpa mahatandava sakshini means the mahayogi who has performed so many tasks in a witness mode in a in a unbiased state without seeking anything in return the mahayogi uh, got super saturated and uh, through mahesh pramaha kalpa mahatandava sakshini he is sadly he is leaving this world so he is departing from this world and this whole procedure of the departure of mahayogi from this world was witnessed by a uh, by by universal mother sakshini is a witness and uh, this pro- this uh, process of mahayogi um who was controlling the whole universe the cycle of the universe the the action cycle of the universe the karta karma kriya cycle of the universe and uh, balancing it and getting rid of the imbalances so after performing this imbalance the 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 correction of the imbalances that have been collected from the whole of the universe and transferring that performing yaga a ritual with those imbalances and transferring the the fruit of that imbalances to the benefact the, as the benefactor the benefactor benefactor is identified in the form of uh, you know sarmada through mahasana 
and uh, so after performing this this uh, ordeal this uh, herculean task of mahayaga so finally the mahayogi is departing from this world that is maheshwaram hagalpa mahatanda sakshini so this perhaps uh, um, uh, just to imagine this whole sequence of events and uh, uh, the mahayogi departing from this world uh, that is beyond our comprehension and uh, it is it is simply uh, it makes everybody spellbound and this probably happens to maybe one in a trillion uh, case of uh, in case in a in a population so this uh, uh, probably doesn't happen very often and it has happened it has definitely happened once in the history um, history of uh, uh, the history of the time um, history of the human civilization that encompasses not only earth but also the other other worlds other uh, previous worlds so before we um get insight into this nama the energy pertaining to this nama so we have to understand um what is kalpa what is maha kalpa what is tandava what is maha tandava so we have to understand and what is sakshini sakshini is witness mode uh, witness to an event and um, so let us try to understand these terms so the um, if we uh, uh, a person were trying to wear a wear the socks for the um, for the feet um and uh, trying to wear the socks while standing in a standing posture so that means he is um, he or she is uh, um trying to lift one uh, leg and then trying to wear uh, the socks and uh, the trying so balancing essentially balancing the whole body with one leg that is anchored to the earth Uh, so this is a kind of a instable uh, unstable state there is a instability in this um and uh, so he tries to balance to stay um uh to to get a, to stay cur- to stay um stable he he tries to use his hands instead and uh, he will we can see that person is trying to kind of a dance um through this uh, posture of one leg in the air one leg uh, getting anchored to the earth so this is a unstable state so we never know when the person is going to fall or is trying to balance um so these movements are unstable and uh, these unstable movements when um when they are being performed in a consistent basis without um uh, without succumbing to the instability that is called tandava and uh, the lord nataraja exactly does the same thing so if uh, anybody uh, watches the posture of lord nataraja uh, the one leg is in the air and the other leg is being anchored to the earth and uh, there is a movement of uh, movement of hands and uh, he seems to be doing this in a consistent basis without uh, falling over or without succumbing to the instability that is tandava so 
so when we are standing upright our uh, our spine is our spine is vertical and uh, we are in uh, north south or uttarayana dakshinayana um when we are when we are parallel to the ground our spine is uh, um uh, our spine is horizontal and it is known as paschimana purvayana that is east uh, that is east west so um so when we when one leg is in the air other leg is anchored uh, uh, to the ground so that is the state uh, that is intermediate to uh, the uttarayan dakshayana uh, and paschimayan purva that means intermediate to north south and east west cycle so this uh, uh, in order to perform any karma acharana in this intermediate state um so the person has to be uh, the individual has to acquire um the potency from the that is virya from mahavirya and he should be having the the energy that is shakti from maha shakti and his buddhi should be maha buddhi so the, the the only then he can be stable in this situation and the tandava can be performed so similarly the other uh, characteristics uh, have to be drawn uh, beyond this uh, um, cycle of east west north south then he can the individual can be stable so um so so in this state uh, uh, in this intermediate state trying to draw the energy that is beyond uh this north south east west uh from the planetary position that is in the grahayana and uh, uh to be operating in this state on a consistent basis uh that is called tandava so that uh, that's about the tandava and the kalpa essentially kalpa means the the cycle of sankalpa and vikalpa uh, the cycle getting uh, the the circle of this sankalpa and vikalpa getting completed that is that is kalpa now when does the circle of uh, sankalpa and vikalpa uh, get completed when we release a thought uh, through our sankalpa or we release a thought through our vikalpa so when this uh, the sankalpa or vikalpa the waves of the sankalpa and vikalpa penetrate far and wide into the universe and to uh, to all those parties or individuals to whom they are supposed to be addressed or supposed to get interacted and further generate the the ripple effects of those individuals that is further sankalpa and vikalpa waves so all this when all this uh, uh, getting completed and the circle is completed so for example um, let's say um, uh, let's say i want to i want to earn 1 lakh i want to earn 1 um, um, crore rupees i want to get 1 crore rupees so this uh, thought of 1 crore rupees the waves are being generated and it may not happen so that becomes a vikalpa um so if if it is if it is if it is to be happening then the waves of this are getting generated and then reaching for example an employer and further generating the ripple effect and then getting the employment and uh, uh uh rising through the position and uh, um so to that ex- to the extent uh, whoever i'm supposed to get interacted so they in turn are generating further ripple effects so all this when this 
the entire circle is being completed that is sankalpa uh, that is uh, uh, sankalpa vikalpa circle that is called kalpa so um so the, the so mahakalpa is uh, is accumulation of uh, this uh, sankalpa vikalpa circle for the for the entire universe that means for the for the all the living beings uh, sankalpa vikalpa circle or the kalpa circle of the entire universe is called mahakalpa so um so who uh, who was the who was the entity um that was controlling this entire circle of this uh, sankalpa vikalpa of the all the living beings it was none other than mahayogi by performing the mahayaga so he was controlling the the doer the action and the benefactor of uh, the circle of this uh, karta karma kriya for the all the living beings through the seven crore brahmagnanis so um and uh, and the contents of the seven kundalini chakras that uh, and the seven divine mothers saptamatrakas and uh, seven saints the saptarushis um the center accumulation is the um uh is is the mahakalpa for uh, for mahayogi um that means the thoughts the 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 waves that are generated from this uh seven kundalini chakras um getting the circle of this waves getting completed that is mahakalpa um so this circle is it, it encompasses the circle within this circle all the circles of uh, sankalpa vikalpa of all the living beings are encompassed that is mahakalpa so through this cir- completion of this circle the mahayaga is completed and uh, so the mahayogi um so seven chakras are are super saturated and uh, it is time um for him to terminate this body his body and that is maha uh, that is this uh, maheshwar mahakalpa mahatanda sakshini because he has done his job more than satisfactory and uh, it's uh, it is it is end uh, end of his uh, termination of his if life and uh, because he's within his within the circle within this big circle all the circles of the living beings are encompassed and all this tiny circles are also been completed so this is essentially end of the universe or end of the world um which world we will come to that um little later uh, so essentially mahayogi uh the curtain uh closing for mahayogi essentially um um is referring to this nama so this is a uh even that probably happens one in several hundreds of millions of years so that means a very very precious moment just to imagine this whole scenario itself is is mind boggling so what exact what is uh, how how is this happened um how did this happen um as as uh, already mentioned the seven chakras of uh, uh, mahayogi were uh, super saturated because um the circle is completed the the energy waves that emanated from this um, seven chakras got completed so um so in this super saturated state the 
the Maheshwara. Maheshwara means the Jupiter, the intense energy form of the Jupiter, the magnetic, intense magnetic force of the Jupiter um, uh, that is in Agna Chakra of uh, Mahayogi getting saturated and with this intense magnetic force or magnetic waves um, so he um, uh, essentially all the subsequent uh, planets and all the uh, the all the planets were being um, uh, subjected to this magnetic intense magnetic waves and they come they come to standstill it's just, essentially it's a blackout blackout mechanism that uh, when there's a power outage power outage the total darkness that prevails it's a similar event sometimes because of the excess radiation there's a power um, uh, power uh, um, blackout and this is a power back uh, power bla ba um, power blackout that happened in the entire entire universe because of the the intense radiation of the magnetic waves that emanated from the Jupiter, and that is because of this uh, super saturated state of the Mahayogi. So the Jupiter. That's why it is Maheshwara Mahakalpa Mahatandava Sakshini. So Maheshwara is essentially the, the, the intense form of the Jupiter. We have already discussed that. And uh, uh, so in this state, uh, when the entire universe is filled with the magnetic, uh, magnetic waves, uh, magnetic energy, the Uh, the moon in uh, the Sahasrara, Sahasrara moon, the uh, moon in Sahasrara of Mahayogi is subjected to the hot cold cycles through this excessive magnetic force. And uh, uh, there is a, the, uh, there is a Mahadeva uh, energy in uh, Mahayogi, in Sahasrara. Through that Mahadeva, this moon effect is uh, uh, perceived. So the Mahadeva um, goes through um, instability because of the hot cold cycles that moon undergoes. And this hot cold cycle essentially um, results in um, Tandava. Maheshwara Mahakalpa Mahatandava. So this is essentially Mahatandava. It becomes Mahatandava for the Mahayogi. Tandava is already discussed. It has already been discussed. So essentially the the Mahayogi goes through a severe um, um, severe hard cold cycles through this process. And this has been reflected in the universe also. So, so this entire procedure, entire process has been witnessed by the, the Universal Mother that is uh, Saptamatrukas, the seven divine mothers, um, the seventh uh, in that list uh, who resides in the Sahasrara, she is uh, known as Chamunda. So Chamunda is the witness for this entire, for this entire event. That is Sakshini. And uh, so the which event, the event of Mahayogi departing from this world is being witnessed by the Chamunda in Sahasrara. And this event is also coinciding with the event that world is coming to an end because with the circle completed of Mah Mahayogi circle completed that encompasses all the circles of all the living beings. So his passing away is, is is the end of the world and this event is witnessed by being witnessed by the the divine mother known as chamunda so munda essentially means the ego 
but um, mahayogi doesn't have an ego uh, so essentially what it means is, uh, munda is a faculty of personality so uh, the process of mahayogi departing from this world um, is initiated by the faculty of personality departing from this uh, from his body that is initially faculty of personality departing from the body so that is coinciding with uh, essentially his head is been um because of the the hard cold cycles that he is going through the excessive cycles so he uh, his head is being separated from the body that is um uh, that is being witnessed by chamunda so that is what is chamunda means and uh, so since he is is beyond the senses is beyond the faculties um so um so he is able to essentially detach his head from the body that is called maheshwara mahakalpa mahatandava sakshini so this is end of a great chapter it's end of a uh, a personality that we normally don't come across or we come across probably several hundreds or thousands of generations or maybe even more once in a once in a um once in thousands of lifetime that we encounter such a personality and sadly that personality is leaving and that that is coinciding with the end of the world um so this entire event that is maheshwar mahakalpa mahatandava sakshini in english uh, it is known as in science it is known as big bang so this is the event of big bang that is been very well captured by lalita devi rahasya sasnama stotra um so so far in lalita devi rahasya sasnama stotra uh, we have not discussed anything on about the planet earth so that means this end of the world is not the planet earth so it must be the world prior to the formation of the earth and hence uh maheshwar mahakalpa mahatanda sakshini must be related to the the world that got terminated in mars so this is a mars world that we are talking about then therefore all the events that have taken place till now that is from sri mata till mahesh from mahakalpa mahatanda sakshini are the events that unfolded prior to the uh, onset of the big bang that means these are the events that happened in the uh the world of mars so there will be a special episode on this topic that is a secret of mars world um so uh i request all the uh all the listeners to go through that uh, to listen to this special episode and pose the questions or feedback um accordingly because this is uh this is such a unbelievable event um as as a human civilization as as humans um we have the right to know the existence of our ancestors ancestors and uh, the life uh the kind of lifestyle that they were leading and uh, what is our connection to them and what happens to us so on and so forth so it is our right to know about our existence it is our, our right to know about our ancestors and this this been these are been captured in this special episode um so that that's about this nama maheshwar mahakalpa mahatandava sakshini and uh, um there are um these uh, these these events were captured in our scriptures so so very well um so we briefly go through some of the scriptures um in in a 
in a text that is called Panchavasi Stava. Panchavasi Stava. Um, it's written Kalpopa Samharana Tandavasya Devasya Khanda Paraso Parabairavasya Pasaya Saikshavasarasana Pushpabhanai Sa Sakshini Vijayate Teva Murtireka and further it says Esha Samhrutya Sakalam Viswam Kridati Sankshaye Lingani Sarvajivanam Swasarire Nivesyacha In Devi Bhagavata it is said that Dimbam Dimbam Sudimbam Dimbam Dimbam Sudimbam that is this Tandava Pacha Pacha Sahasa Jum Jumya Jumyam Prajumyam Nurchyam Cha Sabdavadai Sraja Murasi Siracches Sirachekaram Tarya Pakshai Purnam Rakta Savanam Yama Mahisha Mahasrungamadaya Pani Payodvo Vandyamana Pralaya Muditaya Bhairava Kalaratya So this procedure of Maheshwar Mahakrabha Mahatanda Sakshini was captured in this Devi Bhagavata Dimbam Dimbam Sudimbam Pachapacha Sahasa Jumya Jumyam Prajumyam Nuchyam So this kind of reflects the, the dynamics of the end of the world in Mars. Um, okay, so that, that's about uh, the significant event that unfolded resulting in end of the Mars, end of the world in Mars through Mahesh Pramahakalpa Mahatanda Sakshini as well as the termination of Mahayogi um, who has risen from the normal human being to be is being elevated to the highest position possible. So through Maheshwar Mahakalpa Mahatanda Sakshini um, the faculty of personality of uh, Mahayogi the characteristics of the personality of the Mahayogi so that that uh, uh, training is being given to the faculty of personality so the remaining namas we will explore uh, in the next episode thank you